Now, I'm going to show you a couple of instances why you, you might not want to have that uh, going on. And I'm going to use that with the uh, Final Cut Basic Motion to do stabilizing. So we want to do stabilizing. We click on Invert there. Save that out. Phone Stab 1 into Final Cut. Import that XML. Stab 1. And there it is, the uh, Mocha Basic Motion, which I shall call Stab 1. For stabilize rather than for stabbing. Now we have a look at this here. What it's done is it's stabilized that, that phone up completely. So it's taken on the rotation, uh, the scale and the position. So it's kind of a funky little effect there. But not the effect that we're after. And it's also put it at a weird angle as well. Now the reason it's put it at that angle is because in Mocha, this is uh, the frame where we took the, the data from. So if we come to uh, another frame here, export out that exact same data, just invert, stab 2, import that into Final Cut Pro, Mocha Basic Motion, rename it because as you can see as we start to, to import a lot of this data it can get a bit confusing but as you can see it stabilized it from that other frame there very nice well what if we wanted to uh, to just take out the transform data we didn't want the scale data or the uh, or the rotation data well of course there's a couple of different ways of sorting that out as well and the first way starts by just looking at the XML file Right, so let's look at the XML file here. Uh, if I just double click on it, it will open up in whichever our default application is. That's probably going to be Final Cut Pro, but it could be color or something else. So I'm going to control click on it or right click on it. Go to open with other. Come to my all applications down here. Find text edit. And this is my raw XML file. So this is what's given us all our data. And it looks quite quite scary and complicated, but it's it's not that scary. Honestly, uh, what we're looking for is a parameter called scale, which is here. Uh, and then we're just going to select the line above it, which is called parameter, and find the end of that parameter. So all of these keyframes here are what's given us the values. So let's uh, try and find the end of that parameter, which is going to be uh, backslash parameter. So now I can shift click at the end of that and just delete all of that. The next one here is rotation. So if we don't want rotation either, we can do the same thing. Make sure we start the parameter up here. Come down here, find the end of that parameter, which is there. Just delete that. So then we're left with the parameter center, which is the position keyframe. So I'm going to save that and open it up in Final Cut. So import XML, phone stab 2, there it is, Mocha Basic Motion, bring that in, and you can see it's just brought in my center data, and not the scale, and not the rotation. So that's doing it once you've exported out your data already. Now the other way to do it is in Mocha. So it's taken out all of that other tracking data for us because we asked it to, so the translation scale rotation. Now if we only wanted it to do a stabilize on the transform data, uh, on the translation data I mean, then we just turn all these other ones off before we do the tracking and then it will only export out our center data for us. I'm just jumping into another project here uh, because we've had a look at the three main types of uh, motion tracking data we can take out. So we've looked at the, the corner pin with the distort, we've looked at the match moving with the transform data, and we've looked at the stabilizing with the inverted transform data. But what I've got here is a, a tracked this little uh, sign in here, uh, which worked out perfectly the first time, didn't have to use the adjust track or anything, which was great considering half the screen went out of the frame and the other half was completely blown out and white. Um, but what I'm going to do with this one is use this data, this distort data, to do some object concealment. So let's just save this out, call this object conceal, 
come back into Final Cut and import that XML file, object conceal, there it is, mocha distort, object conceal, bring that over the top. And we know that fits in perfectly. Great. So let's uh, come in. I'm going to use a color here. Just paste that color clip over the top and then do the, do what we did before. So just copy the distort data from the first clip. Paste attributes distort onto the second clip. There we go. Okay, so that's not quite what we were after, but it's a, it's a good start. So let's just duplicate our New York clip over the top of itself. So Alt and drag and then let go of Alt and over the top. And let's come into our blurs, just do a, a Gaussian blur on this one. 10 pixel Gaussian blur. Let's do 15 pixels. This has blurred up the entire image, of course. But a little feature in, uh, in our composite modes here, if we have a look down here, we've got travel mat alpha. And this looks at the layer underneath it, looks at the alpha channel on that, and uses that as a map. So now we've very quickly uh, concealed our, our little sign there. So that was just a another little thing I just wanted to show you there. So I hope this has been a useful exercise in how you can transfer your uh, Mocha data into Final Cut and use it in the best possible way. My name is Ben Hushner from Curious Turtle, and thanks very much for being with me for this little video tutorial.